Hello. Today, we're going to make it... Oh my god. One second. I gotta turn my fan down. Today, we're going to make a main menu. Um, super simple. We're going to start off by making a script, and then we're going to get into the UI. We're going to make a new C-sharp script, call it main menu control. This is really simple. Uh, this is my first video, so bear with me if I act weird. We're going to get rid of the update method and uh, just have start. We're going to start off with variables right now. You're not going to need UI, I don't think. You know what? Let's just add it. Uni Unity engine dot, oh my god, dot UI. Oh my god. It's hard to type when it's a mic in front of your keyboard. Okay, now. First variable, we're gonna say public game object. Uh, what we wanna call? It? We're gonna call it home. No, we're gonna call it start menu. You can call it home. We're gonna call it home. Let's call it home. That'll make more sense. Um, we're gonna do public audio source. Sorry if I'm going too fast. We're gonna call it a source. <clears throat> then we're going to do a public game object array and we're gonna call this menus okay in the start we're gonna type in for each and then press tab twice um, if you don't have it like that uh, just type in what I, what you see here uh, we're gonna say for each game object in game object we're gonna call this menu in menus and we're gonna say actually copy that copy what we just typed and then do a new method, call it void um, di disable <laughs> disable all menus. Okay, and we're gonna paste that in. And inside of this, we're gonna say menu dot set active is false. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna in the start method, we're gonna put in. Uh, disable all menus and uh, yeah so what this is doing it's taking every game object we have in this array and turning it off um, and then we'll have a void for go to start or go home you wanna say go home we're gonna call it go home and we're gonna say um, we're gonna Disable all menus, and then we're gonna say home dot set active is true. Okay, so we're gonna start off by doing a public void. Actually, we're gonna make this public, and we're gonna make this public too. Okay, we're gonna say public. Um, I'm. I gotta come up with you know good names. So we're gonna say change menu, and we're gonna have a second one. That's going to be called um, load a scene. We're gonna have another called play audio. So um, change menu. We're going to type in. We're gonna type in int menu id. <clears throat> so we're going to say disable all menus and then after that we're going to enable this menu id so the way you do that you say menus and then you do menu id inside of the brackets what is happening menu id inside of the brackets that set active to true that simple so what it's doing is disabling and then it's taking this number and enabling it um that simple with this we're going to put in a string and we're going to say um level to load and we're gonna say application dot load level and inside of the bracket the thing we're gonna put in level to load oh my God. level to load so that's just going to load whatever level play audio we're gonna say audio clip um audio to play and we're going to um, say a source dot play one shot audio to play. OK, 
Okay, so let's go to play this audio that we input, and that's about, I think that's the whole script that we need. Um, trying to see if there's something else that we could add. Um, that's about it. Okay, so now we're, get, we're gonna get into the UI of everything. We have no errors. Really simple script. Um, we're gonna make a new, actually we're gonna add, no, we're just gonna make a new button. So like I said, all the whole script here is just button commands. So it'll make when you press a button, it'll make the button do something. So our first button here, you can set up your UI how you have it. Hopefully you already set up your UI. I'm gonna go ahead and make a grid. Um, put it in the middle here. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna make five buttons. We're gonna put in the grid layout group. Okay, and duplicate it five times. I'm gonna make them super skinny. I'm gonna just do 20 by, it doesn't matter. Just set up your UI how you like it. We're gonna do 200 because that's about the same size. Okay, set up your UI how you like it. And um, yeah, so we have different buttons. So on whatever, you, we can make a new game object. It doesn't matter. We can call it main menu. Or you can put on, we're going to put it on the canvas um, object. We're just going to put the script on there. All right. So now that you have your buttons, all your buttons are inside of one thing. This is going to be a menu. You can duplicate that, make it another menu, duplicate it, make it another, duplicate it, make it another. We're going to call this menu one, menu two, oh my God. menu three, and menu four. Okay. Now on the canvas, we're gonna press this little lock up here and we're going to select all our menus, drag it into this. And you see it's in the array now. All right, <clears throat> you can unlock it. Now, whatever menu you wanna set to be your home menu, you put it as home. Okay, now on this, we're gonna need an audio source. Okay, doesn't matter. We're gonna make it 2D. Yeah, sorry, 2D whatever um to be honest we can make this uh private so get rid of public on this we can make it private and we can just have the script to get it for us um so on start we're going to say a source oh my goodness a source is equal to get component audio source okay so that's going to get it on start and just because I don't like the way that looks, I'm going to put that at the bottom of everything. You can put private. It doesn't matter in C-sharp. So it's going to automatically get the audio source. Um, yeah. So we're going to highlight all the, uh, we're going to look at the buttons. We're going to highlight all the buttons on menu one real quick. Then click this, lock it, and then drag in the canvas. And we're going to go on main menu control and we're going to select something. Um, so by default, you can see that all the menus except menu one. Oh, <laughs> we got to do that. Um, disable menus. And then we're going to say go to. Oh, we got to say go home. So it'll enable the home menu at the beginning. So you can see everything is disabled except menu one which is what we set to home and uh, we can go ahead and disable it ourselves and so this first menu is gonna this first button is gonna go to menu one when you click on it so how do we do that well you see on click here we're gonna say main menu control and we're gonna say um, change menu and what is this int for you ask well if you look at our array we have different menus this is what you call index values or ids and it's basically zero one two three so say if i when i click this button i want it to go to menu two <laughs> stupid i'm just renaming it so you can see what they're supposed to do so say if i want this to go to menu two which is this next menu here um 
menu two isn't doesn't have the ID of two. It has the ID of one because the array start at zero. So it has the ID of one. So what I'm going to do on this button, I'm going to say go to menu one, which is menu two. So just so you can see that it's working on menu two, we're going to have a text. And we're going to put it up here. And we're going to say menu. We're going to just say M2. Right. So when I click the button, it's going to go to menu two, as you can see. So that's what that does, that command or whatever you want to call it. Next, we're going to go over playing audio. So on this, we can add another thing, um, drag the canvas into it. We're going to say um, play audio. So we can drag in an audio clip. I don't have one with me, but when you drag one in, it's going to play the audio clip when you click on it uh, one time. So that's what that does. We're going to have a we're going to go ahead and make a new scene. <clears throat> okay, we're going to save the scene as two. Uh, we're going to say scene or screen, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're going to go back to the main menu scene and inside of menu one. You know what? Just for fun, I'm going to have this in menu two. So in menu two, we're going to have this button uh, load scene. <laughs> load scene 2 so this is what this button is going to do this button is going to load scene, scene 2 for us so we're going to add our canvas into the button main menu load a scene and we're going to get the name of the scene here and boom it's going to load that now we have to add it to our build settings so we'll drag in that boom so here's how this is going to play out say hey I want to go to menu 2 so I click on this hold on something happened oh um what <laughs> everything is right let me see maybe it was just error or something nope it's not um did I break it oh it's cause this is sorry about that my little sister walked in so the reason it broke is because I didn't put in an audio source. So we're going to get rid of that for now because um, I don't have an audio clip, I mean. So I'm going to start. Say if I want to go to menu 2, I click on the button. Say if I want to go to scene 2, I click on that button. It loads the scene up for us. Um, there's not really much left. We can have this button go home, um, you know, by, you know, going home. We can have the next button to disable all the menus. Um, by doing this so it's really simple as you can see so we click on this button it disables all the menus you click on this button it goes home you know so that's about it um, you can uh, just add what you want to the script this is just basic and um, yeah okay I'm gonna explain how everything is working so if you look at your buttons your buttons have this on click and that basically means when you click the button it's going to do whatever you add to this and when we click the button we're just basically calling different methods from that this script here and that's basically all it's doing it's just calling different methods and um, yeah we added UI to it it doesn't really need UI because we don't have anything to do with UI here uh, we added it to it so you know later you can whatever you know add on to it so yeah <laughs> See you later. <laughs>